Greetings and welcome to Die Dragon Die Presents Flotsam and Jetsam Season 1, Episode 20. Adam is DM, two thirds of the Ontario crew here. Mark in person. How's, how's everyone doing on this fine Tuesday night? Good. Good I've had a long day at work. I went to the gym and then I made a steak with some asparagus. Which might, I, I might smell bad when I pee later, but aside from that, things are perfect. A um, little bit less time at work would be nice, but you know, eh. I had a long, I had a long day today too because, uh, uh, you know, they start Seattle hours, but I got up a couple hours before I needed to start. It just made for a long day. Uh, yeah, it's yeah. the seven seven a.m. meeting for for Europe time, and then meetings all the way through to like ten. 10, 11, and you got like a couple hours, and then meetings through to six. <laughs> and in a couple hours, you're like, I have to actually do deliverables. <laughs> so they've talked to people about deliverables. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's, you gotta do some work aside from talking about work. Yeah. You have to, yeah, so you, you have, part of your day is talking about digging holes, and the other part of the day is actually digging the freaking holes. <laughs> uh, and then there's a point where, because I have a management position, when it's like, I don't have enough shovels. So then people want to talk to me about not having enough shovels, which prevents me from digging because there's not enough shovels digging holes. <laughs> Where it's like, okay, I get it. This is a problem that needs to be fixed. Well, we need you to help fix it. It's also I'm the person helping dig the freaking holes out. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm doing some low-level stuff that I really shouldn't be doing, but that's fine. Which is what well, has to be done for now. Built character. Well, build, this is and builds trust with your team. Look at Adam go. Legitimately, <laughs> uh, at one point early in my career, when it's like by uh, a director came down, I was like, "Why do you have a PhD guy push like pushing him up?" And it's like, I, I, okay. First off, I need to defend it. But second off, uh, we needed to clean the floor. Right? <laughs> we needed to clean floor, and the floor wasn't clean, and so we needed to clean floor to do the testing we're doing. So I clean the floor. <laughs> so I can keep doing my job. <laughs> I can sit here and watch the dirty floor and go, I can't do nothing, or I can clean the floor. <laughs> and he's like, we should get somebody to clean the floor. Perfect. <laughs> but yeah, no, I've got no problems. Like I've I've done horrible, horrible jobs for very little money. And you have to be willing to do horrible things. It's just if, if you're if you're from a life where you don't like if you're too good to work for McDonald's. Then you're, it's a problem, right? If you're too good to, maybe shoveling shit might be a little extreme, but for me, it's like can you shovel shit or whatever. Like, do some horrible, stinky job. That's always a good sign of character, right? It's just, I don't know. Just don't fuck up the easy stuff, or you lose the respect. <laughs> <laughs> Now Don't we need five people to clean up the floors. <laughs> oh, it, it actually happened with me and another guy. Our boss came down to help us because it was the end of the day. We both looked at him and we went, just stop. You're making it worse. Let's finish it. This, this is true. I still have the truck. That's how your cork is not cleaner, you idiot. <laughs> You're just stripping the floors. <laughs> oh. Oh, when my. you're working, when you work in a place where you want a clean floor, but you have to go through two passes with buckets, and somebody gets the buckets fucked up, but they don't realize, Ugh. so they basically muddy up your floor with the mop afterwards. So you clean the floor, and they're like, "I'm just going to give it a quick mop down." It's like that's the wrong, wrong, wrong bucket. Ah, oh, it's just like <laughs> some Mark, poopy water. <laughs> how you doing? I'm doing good. I just got back from camp, so I'm a little more relaxed than you guys. <laughs> yep. Good to see it. Uh, did you watch a bit of last game? I watched like up to I think the last twenty minutes of last game. I was listening to it in the car all the way home. I got home, took a big dump. I know you all need to know that. Listen to it on the can <laughs> because you don't do that at the trailer, or because you don't have it hooked up okay, to listen, the septic, listen. or it, no, it's not hooked up to septic. There's a guy who comes with a. Um, I call it the shit sucker. Yep. It's basically a big tank on the back of a pickup, and he sucks it out for 22 bucks a week. So you, you're like, I'm holding it for home. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, first of all, 
if you've ever been in a trailer bathroom, it is not built for, well, wider people as I have become. <laughs> so It's like an airplane bathroom. Yeah. And now, there, there is a public restroom that is very clean there, but um, I wish the toilet paper were half as thick as this <laughs> tissue. <laughs> it's very much a case of... <gasps> A lot of wadding. Okay. All right. TMI. All right. I'm going to do a recap of last game. <laughs> Thanks. You know when your finger breaks. <laughs> go, go wash your hands. Go, go wash your hands right now. <laughs> Forever unclean. All right. Uh, this island is cursed. A giant crab attacks the crew while they're on the beach. Oh, my God. That was the beginning of that game. That was... This is the most... I want, Like I said, I want to... This is the most horrific island. <laughs> Mulgarmere orders the camp move further inland. Black Dog leads excavations of the cornfield, looking for victims of the Ankhags. Banta spots some strange tracks. <laughs> oh, yeah, we haven't dealt with those yet. <laughs> Sunmu and Banta spy upon a small wooden compound, uh, a wall compound in a nearby peak, leading to a deadly showdown between two captains. Um, Ganzurig spots a wreck and other points of interest on the isle. Black Dog lays a trap for a ghoulish assassin, almost dying in the process. The true moves their uh, the true uh, sorry the crew moves their camp one more time, while exploring the swamp. The Marines encounter a ghoulish pleasure tent, and burn it to the ground. <laughs> no. <laughs> there was a lot of <laughs> foreshadowing. <laughs> there would be a lot of uh, shenanigans uh, going on there. Uh. <laughs> I should have had one of them sing like Yoko Ono, but oh, anyways. <laughs> one of the, the things we forgot, I don't know if it happened because Ahmed left early or whatever, but Banta did have a mage armor cast on him from Sunwoo. Sunwoo cast at the beginning of, like, of our ex expeditions um, on a number of people, so it just never made it to his token. So if you're upset that Banta didn't die, it's probably because the mage armor saved him. <laughs> 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 there was at least 15 or whatever, 16 damage that we had absorbed there. So, uh, yeah. And, and by the way, I had the exact same uh, reaction as Marty when you said, and he cast Flame Strike. Was, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, shit. Well, they, were, they were given warning. He cast two spells in one round the round before, and they're like, I was going to. I was like, how many more parts to this game? Is the last bunch making new characters? Like, what the hell? <laughs> There's lots of you. You can't get the all in one template. Oh, so you're pretty bunch. I, I, I thought like ah, he's got a monkey or something like that that's casting a spell, or he's doing some dual wand bullshit. I'm like, oh, at least it's still good. It'll, it'll be good. fine. <laughs> <laughs> Kills run big. I'm like, okay, you know, large person's not that bad. <laughs> oh, it's ER. Oh, fuck, it's a fifth level spell. Holy shit. Um, yeah. I found it really funny because I, I had the template out going like, oh, what, what, how, what how this is going to land. <laughs> then at the end of that turn, you're like, oh, they're in a column. <laughs> it's like two, two rows of three just all lined up. <laughs> like, oh, well, they know where you're dropping that one. <laughs> yeah, we were all... Just... Well, with, with Gids, I think it was Gids or shit-talking. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Low charisma means he's a little annoying sometimes. <laughs> Oh, high con means he doesn't die all the time. Uh, all right. That, 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 that night of exploration was fun. I'm looking forward to this. Um, I think right. we're going to retreat, though, to not like anticlimactic beginning. Uh, okay, so you've, you've lit, in, uh, lit the, um, uh, the, the tree of ill repute aflame. Uh, the sail that has been covered in lurid drawings uh, burns up as this tree burns. Uh, this particular part of, like, you're on the edge of a swamp. Uh, it's not like you're going to start a forest fire or anything like that. It is it is a smoky signal that could be easily seen out at sea for, for a very good distance. Um, yeah, I think we're not going to linger. We're going to retreat. Um, uh, Captain, you, you good with us retreating? Some of us are a little low on powers and... Yes, we need to get some rest. Anyone injured? I think uh, Black Dog has a bit of damage. Let me see if 
Sunwoo can, or sorry, uh, Jin can help. Oh, we also got to get Grimlier. Oh, there she is. She's flying around. <laughs> yeah, Grimlier, yeah, the, did not react well. Uh, uh, Don't be so, a little nugget. Uh, yeah, uh, Jin has got a channel. She'll just use the channel. Low on okay. Yeah, Black Dog is low on healing, so not Black Dog, Corinne. Okay. Uh, Jinshur uh, uses a channel. Uh, it cures people. The, the sickened condition goes away after five minutes or so. Um, the, by the time you've actually burnt the place, it's the, the stink and filth is uh, is begun to clear. As we're walking back, Ooh, uh, we never really did uh, harvest those ant cakes. We probably should start doing that before they get too stinky. Yes, you could assign some people to do that if you like. Oh, we could use some of the crew. Some of them must know something about it. Figure out who does. Oh yeah, I know. I know which ones know how to cut open a thing. The ones that helped, I guess, uh, Ganzori cut up the sea serpent and then the, the shark. I'm sure there's some guys who like Yep. that can do that. Oh, okay. We probably shouldn't leave you unguarded, so maybe some of the crew and Ganzorig and somebody else? Not it. I got stuff to do. I gotta look at those magic items. Uh, who? Has anyone seen Gatan on two days? I have not seen him. <laughs> Oh, uh, you put him in charge of cleaning the cabin, and then he sat in the hot tub. Uh, he did sit in the hot tub. But yeah, Gatano, no, no, he doesn't know about magic. Shit. Why do we keep him around? He's not so bad. Whenever you get mad at him, you just feel good about him for some reason. <laughs> Yes, I know. It's very confusing. <laughs> All right. The acid viscera shouldn't take too long. Maybe we do that on the way back, and then we send a crew down to go get all the, the shells. The, the chitin. Chitin? Chitin? <laughs> chitin. <laughs> Fishing. <laughs> all right, now. Yes, we'll get it on the way down. It's hard to tell by the look on your face. <laughs> <laughs> Wonder if I could shit on the run. Is that Gotta the shit. original reason? The... If you eat the right thing, sure. Gotta shit fast. Is that why they call it the run? Hmm. No, no. You humans are weird. Do you get dingleberries like no, uh no, don't need to know about this fur stop i learned <laughs> prestigitation shut up <laughs> he used to get dingleberries he wants to know about people. i do not <laughs> <laughs> do orcs have harry potter <laughs> 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 Oh, <laughs> uh, we really made a big signal fire there, didn't we? <laughs> so we looked back and pointed up the... Oh yeah, it, it, the, there's yeah, a the fire that is, <laughs> you know, 500, 500 feet high at least. This is for the winter. <laughs> Yay us! <laughs> All right. Don't worry, we're purging it of the ghouls. What else could go wrong? Well, let us see. The entire crew could be infected with ghoul fever because every mosquito seems to carry it. Yeah, for some reason, I think we're going to have that problem going forward as long as Grimsby is with us. Don't worry, we'll just keep him in the barrel. I wonder if there's a way to make Grimsby like eat a lot of, I don't know, ash or chalk or something that negates the disease. So he's like a nice, clean cool. You could brushes his teeth or something like that. Just digitate a bunch of times. Yeah, but that only lasts a few seconds. That's a brief, brief solution to this. And I won't want to be that guy the rest of my life. Although magic might be able to do that. 
permanent breath freshener. Sounds like something an alchemist could do. Yeah, something a lozenge, something that sits in his belly and it just kind of zooms. What a urinal puck for his belly. <laughs> <laughs> a cool belly lozenge. Yeah. Yeah, I'll work on that. I'll have to talk to probably Jim Shu about that. I am right here. No, I mean, later we'll talk. But we can talk now. I'm not trying to solve that problem right now. I think the bluntest way to do this would just have a permanent remove disease. <laughs> like just continuous, continual remove disease. <laughs> Talking about just like straight up within the normal rule. <laughs> Lozenge. So if he dies, we can use it on our next school, but... Are we planning on more... Captain! <laughs> I'm not planning on... But if you get bit by a bug, you can turn into one. I don't want to turn into one. I don't want to turn into one either. Uh, you guys came up with the one ghoul policy, so... <laughs> Shit. <laughs> okay, by this point, you've made your way uh, past your the coconut trees... Uh, there are a couple of crabs scuttling around over there, about the size of your, you know, size of your palm or, you know, size of a basketball. Um, you make your way to the cornfield uh, and the fork in the road. Yeah, we're gonna harvest the the acid part of the egg eggs. I think there were five. Okay, uh, mark roll a percentile check. So Nwu's gonna spark up one of his um, one of his torches, sixty-eight, and make it smoky. Okay, uh, there are still five and cake bodies. Oh, nothing, nothing's. All right. Um, you said that they could be used for boosts to spells. You could use them for boosts to spells, or you could be using them as material components for crafting acid-based items. Okay. Or for making items to move earth. Can uh, burrow, move earth, yeah. <clears throat> uh, acid resistance, these sorts of things. Yeah. And then on top of that, the shells. And then on top of that, you can use the shells to make armor, but the armor will be limited to plus seven in terms of the... Can they be used to basically create vials of acid? Like the alchemical... Uh, uh, that would be yeah that that be a, that sounds about right uh an acid vial normally is a pound it's probably including the container and it does 1d6 acid okay so uh pound of fluid okay so every 6 hours so their little their acid reserve is good for and none of them sprayed, so they'll have full acid glands. Um, although you waited a day, uh, give me a survival check um, for this. You can either go one by one, or you can do that all at once. It's up to you. Just see how good you are at this. Yeah, I think we follow... Uh, yeah, sorry. Good to work. Good to work. 17, then you get some aids. I'm pretty sure Lee can survival. Uh, uh, that's a 20 total. Karen can also aid. Okay. Karen double or aids with a plus three. 23. Okay. Uh, I need uh, 5d3. I don't, I don't think we're converting all of them to vials of acid. I think we want, like, two of them, maybe? Okay, and, give, and give, me, give, me, give me a D3. And then an, and the other three will be components to boost acid. So, so 2D3, if you're saying two of them, beg yeah. two and three's worth. Okay, yep. 2D3. Okay, oh. you, get, you have enough materials to craft four vials of acid. Uh, you don't have to pay any more material costs, but you have to put in the time. Okay. And then, how many uh, boosts to acid spells? Uh, uh, they're all the rest of them are all acid boosts. Yeah. Okay. Then uh, the um, 
you've already unless you're going to re-roll the survival check, it's already it's already there. Uh, give me three d three. Seven. Seven. Uh, plus one caster level, plus one DC. Which is funny because acid is one of those ones where there's not a lot of DC based acid spells. Uh, they happen at middling levels. Oh, that's fine. Um, okay, so we. I got what I needed! You know, after the hour or so of doing that, the rest of it I think is just all shell. And I'm not certain if we can eat this stuff. Of course, it's been sitting here for a day, so we probably just want the shells. Okay. Uh, Mark, give me one more percentile roll. 93. Okay. Nothing comes to nothing comes to bug you while you're while you're here. You've shown the shadows balls. Nothing comes to bug us. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Alright, at this point, uh, you're making your way back up to the captain's cabin? Yeah. Okay. Well, look who the snake dragged in. <laughs> uh, the party makes their way up to the cabin. Uh, the cabin appears to be fortified. Gatano is, is, <laughs> is currently lounging and being fed bits of crab by one of the men. <laughs> <laughs> it's a barbecue crab. He's Which drinking one? out of a coconut. Uh, uh, Gatano, do you have a favorite? Yeah, uh, we're gonna go with um, we're gonna go with Buster. Buster's my man. <laughs> Buster's currently holding Gatano's coconut <laughs> and feeding him bits of crab. Thank you. Thank you. I'm almost full. Okay, one more back, one more back. There we go. <laughs> hey, what's going on here? Oh, Bato was um, just helping me out here because I got so many aches and pains from all the lifting I did, bringing all this stuff up here. Oh, yeah, my, my calves are aching a little bit. <laughs> He's just going to... Just oh, oh, you don't want to get in here. Cut it, No! The spoon! Lee just goes charging right in once he's down to his skivvies. Uh, Corinne has basically jumped in, and then now we'll start undressing. <laughs> <laughs> you want to it. This is my back water that you just bought. Krim goes up into the trees and finds a nice little place to enjoy the breeze. So, were you uh, successful, sir? Do we have a way out of here? And do we have enough money for a ship? Not yet. Hmm. But... Every moment we are here, it seems the hazards are less and less. So, Bato shakes his head <laughs> and closes the door. <laughs> uh, water, the water is nice. There'll be time for that later. Rub a dub dub, four men in a tub! Yeah, too many men for me. I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> even as a human, though, when he gets out, he kind of shakes like this <laughs> to get the water off. <laughs> How's Banta doing? Uh, Banta is currently napping. Uh, he's partially, like, he's he's distant um, at this point in time. He is awake. He's resting. He is distant. Okay, so I'm just going to start uh, using the remainder of the day to identify many of our treasures and to move some of the magic rings around. Oh god, I'm giving Banta all the conditions and all I want to do is make him prone. Boop. What happened to Banta? Again, again Zorg's going to go into the ghoul's spot and just keep watch. Uh, Banta jumped behind it. Bravely jump behind the... Uh, the captain of the Infernus, and uh, he got his ass kicked. <laughs> oh, that's too bad. You should learn from me. See, I jump behind our captain, and I uh, don't get my ass kicked that way. 
Thank you. Oh, you, you'll, eventually, you'll eventually get your ass kicked that way. Oh, I'm saying, don't the boot comes for everybody. It's all about how you greet it. Next time we go out, you're coming with us. No, what am I gonna do? I don't know nothing about no 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 dead things. He <laughs> glances over. There can't be that many dead things left. There's dead things all over the place. Everywhere we go, there's dead things. Greg puts his hand up in the tub. Black Bear just walked off. He, he was ignoring the people in the tub, so he didn't see. <laughs> cradle, cradle switched to... Switch, like, apparently, Lee, uh... Did we get a consensus? Were the women in the tent dead? Uh, yeah. I hope so. If they were real ladies, I would like to see one. <laughs> then you should have come along and get to see all the ladies. Well, now that the they tent. were dead. <laughs> oh, they had all sorts of illusions, I think. And oh, bosoms. Illusion can be good. No, yeah, these ones were good, but they were bad because it was like uh, it was like rotten on the inside. I heard about a lady house one time. You go in there and you had the guy telling me, like, hey, this is the kind of lady I like. And you go, and they make you a lady like you like. No. Yeah, yeah, that's what I heard. I don't have money for that. But do you know illusions? <laughs> <laughs> I got a kind of lady I like. <laughs> <laughs> Karen is making a gesture indicating size. <laughs> <laughs> Sun Wu ignores the the laughter outside. He's he's now like looking over magic items. Uh, he, he gives Shortstone something to do by getting him to help out. Okay. Come here, Bart. You know me. Bart it up in here. All right. you, you, you know things, right? Yep, I know What's all it? sorts of things. <laughs> <laughs> uh, looks like I a hat. I don't want this. This is cursed. <laughs> 50 50 everything on this fucking place is cursed. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we should double check. Well, if one of them puts it on and can't take it off, good sign it's cursed. Yeah, that's the kind of test you don't want to do. I mean, Grimsby could put things on and take them off. You could forcibly cut it off. I'm sure Jinchiris could just sew it back on. <laughs> Jin looks over. He doesn't. He doesn't really comment to it. He's just tending to, uh, uh, tending to Banta, and then he's going to go and tend to Krimlir and and uh, Ganzurig. Uh, he'll get Lee to help. This is for their tomorrow's uh, saving throw. Saving throw. Ooh, look at that aid. Uh, what's the DC of the... The DC is 13. Okay, so 23, so a plus 3. So uh, heal gives you a plus 4. 4, mate. Yep, so plus 5. And we beat it by at least 10. All right. Plus five to next save. Cool. Yeah, they they pout a little bit having to come down from the tree, but they eventually go and get checked out and eat the lozenge and whatever. Drink the tea. Have Drink the tea. tea. Yeah. Have their wounds checked. Um, <clears throat> they're told to go separate away from the water if they're gonna, you know, if they're gonna relieve themselves. I don't know what time it is by this point. Uh, so it was like two in the afternoon. Then you went out there. So one, two. So that would be four, five, six. It's it's basically seven or eight o'clock at night. The sun's going down. It's bedtime. Okay. Um, who is going to ask? I think it's Black Dog. Where are we going tomorrow? Well, we're going. Mark doesn't know where. 
<laughs> well, let's let's go to the map. Um, what you know of? You saw a ship crashed upon rocks uh, in the north. You saw a the the spyglass in in your uh, up in the tree was aimed at a sub um, not subterranean uh, a sunken that's the word I'm looking for a sunken wreck uh, off the south. There's a weird looking stone fist shaped mountain punching out of the out of the uh, uh, out of the island or out of the sea on the northeast. Um, and then there was a, uh, I believe it was Ganzorg initially, saw interesting, like, there's a cave entrance here that you could tell from the water flow. Uh, and then, you, in terms of other things that you saw that were, like, threatening to your potential existence were a bunch of weird tentacly things went aboard this shore. We think probably live in the damn sea cave. We think there's a village here. Um... Yeah, uh, yeah. You you were told that there was a village on the north end, a shipping, a shipping, a fishing village on the north end of the island, because there was a dock. Like there was a dock that blew gray gray nose. Gray nose was gonna um, drop us off at, and we said, no, 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 no. We want to yeah go on the beach. Yeah. Well, my guess is if the mosquitoes all carry cool fever, if there's anyone left in that village, they are either not to be messed with, or they are ghouls, <laughs> or both. Again, Zorik said something about winds from the north, or there's no mosquitoes there. We have no business there, right? Now. Our goal is to go to the Infernus and like, get the treasure from there. I want to check the sea cave before we do any deep sea diving, though. The original thought from yesterday was to clear out anything that could sneak up behind us. And that. That ghoul lady almost killed me. That was one of them. Well, just wasn't your plan to sit on the road covered in barbecue sauce, holding your toy? That's a weird plan. <laughs> Gens Oregon and Sun Wu were supposed to back me up. <laughs> Things happen quickly. So you had to kill it yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Martin was <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't quite aware of. If I was faster, I'd have been there to save you, Black Dog. Next time I'll be faster. Grin was too slow. <laughs> Grin will accept that. I'd like to go to the village just to see. If that shipwreck is still above water, there it could be a recent wreck. Yes. We should leave some men behind while they're chopping up those ank eggs. I'd much rather fight the tentacle things on land than on the water. You want to use them as bait? I thought that was your job. He slaps you on the shoulder. <laughs> it's an effective tactic, no? It's fine. I will be bait this time. Grant puts up his hand. Yes. You and uh, and Jin sure can swim. You could go in the cave and we could go up to the village. What did you say it looked like it was? Grandilos? Grandilos? What, what, what did Mulgamir know about Grandilos? Uh, since you are you are here to run your character, yeah. let's g give me a you you plus your minkies. Uh, knowledge, um, <laughs> there's, something there's something wrong with that word. <laughs> uh, it's uh, knowledge engineering, actually. Uh, okay, uh, it's all the same. Ah, for the one, fuck. Never heard them. <laughs> there, you know, that they're weird, like, gob, like, cursed goblin, like, goblins of the sea. Uh, and they got a bunch of tentacles. And there was one that we were pretty sure was huge. Right. And they, they get... you What the... Mute, the mute. Like, <laughs> they, they mutate easily. Okay. Well, maybe... In... Perhaps we split the crew. 
We should still leave someone behind to guard the boat, though. So, yeah, we need someone to guard our shit, for sure. Um, some of us go to the village while the others chop up the uh, egg eggs and wait for the tentacle things. No, we're not under a time constraint here. Let's stick together. Don't know how many of these things will come up on the beach, and we have no idea what's at the village. Maybe we use the meat from the ank eggs to lure them out. We're not going to eat it. Good thinking. Yep. In fact, do we have any poison? He's looking at some here. <laughs> what? Poison. This, this is magical. <laughs> He's looking at that guy. He wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Do we have poison? Uh, no. I know I'm an alchemist. I can make We it. got a bunch of ghoul flesh. Uh, I don't want to turn them into ghouls. <laughs> I want to kill them. <laughs> Not in our repertoire, uh, Captain. And it would take me too long to make. All right, we do it the hard way. I'm not as scared of poison as I used to be. But Black Dog Kenku has probably used poison. Says to himself. He's got poison use, I think. Is a second level ninja? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Temple Blade, poison on it. <laughs> you, his poison is it not like little little pouches? It's a brick of butter. <laughs> what, are you, what are you doing? Your blade in the in the in the fire. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Black dog seems to have no problem with using poison, but you guys don't have any. Okay. All right. Let's attack the uh, threats that are closest to us first. Then. So go to the beach, get these Grundy things. All right, so let's divide up the tokens. Who are, Who is going to the beach? Black Dog wants to fight the technical points. Jin can outrun a crab, so... <laughs> Gatano will go to the beach. Beach. Cool. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you think the tentacle things are more likely to be alive. Exactly. Yeah. That's kind of what he's thinking. <laughs> that and the beach. <laughs> Set an ambush? Yeah, Ganser, Ganser will, in Criminal could keep watch. Um, who else do you want? Um, me. Short stone might be useful. Uh, of course, sir. Um, I, I've done a good job helping lead the troops to keep them safe at the at the at the, the base with the with the tree and the and the house. And somebody's got to take care of Banta. But crying out, well, good Thanos going. How dangerous can it be? <laughs> I mean, we could leave Grimsby and Banta behind with Shortstone. Yeah, I don't think we're bringing Grimsby to a village. I mean, if it's not ghouls there, it's just going to make us look really bad. <laughs> don't worry, we're both with the ghouls, except for our ghouls. All right, so <laughs> for this guy. we're leaving Grimsby behind in the fort. Yeah. Right. Okay. Banta will leave behind the fort. Yeah. He might feel better when off his back. <laughs> and then who's doing the actual um, cutting? Oh, um, I don't know who's got the best. Uh, more, is it, is this happening days. tomorrow, or is this happening? Is that, today? Is happening tomorrow? Oh, the um, oh, of the. I feel like. I'm feeling like the Rummies aren't really good at that sort of thing. <laughs> I don't know why. Yeah. So we'll go with uh, Lucky Len. 
Buster, because, you know, Katana's buddy. <laughs> Bad uh, servant Buster. <laughs> three fingers, got less to lose, and uh, Shank, because he sounds... <laughs> right. Stabby. And the rest of them will be at the... Yeah, they'll stay there and guard the boat. And then who's who's in charge Here. while you're going? Um, Pierre shorts. Ah, we go. Pierre gets to be in charge today. Okay. Well, yeah, when we... Assuming we get through the night. Yeah, assuming. Yes. So, so that's the plan that we put together this evening. Okay. Uh, if you could... Uh... Mark, if you could roll a percentile check, and if you could just sort of describe your, or, you know, we'll, we'll get to the watch thing in a second here. You got a 66. Okay. Uh, uh, 1d4, Mark. Three. Okay, and then uh, basically all the PCs are taking part in watch, or well, except for Katana. We're going to give Banta a rest. Okay. Katana take part in watch. It's just not yeah. After him lazing about for a while, I think Black Dog's keeping a closer eye on him, uh, like he's going to pull his weight. Okay. Uh, I'll just get well rested for tonight. Captain boys actually do more work than than others. How do you know about what cabin boys do? First time on a boat. <laughs> Mulgrew told me. Well, Mulgrew just making things up to see you testing you. That's what you, next time he says he said that, you, t you tell him, "Nah, -uh, I know how it works. Don't worry, I'm over there. I know Captain." Why would he lie to me? <laughs> to, to test you is the reason. <laughs> Don't fail to test. Da -da. Don't fail the test. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like you, you, you were convincing enough and then eventually just shakes it off. <laughs> nah, you're lazy. <laughs> Two things can be true at the same time. <laughs> okay, Genzorig, uh, you and Grimsby are awake. Um, it is early evening, but it is after dark. Um, give me a perception check. Oh, uh -oh. do I get to add my undead? <laughs> Go ahead and add it on your own. That's such an annoying power. All the conditionals. Um, Don't worry, rangers are purely conditional characters. Yeah, exactly. Uh, They're conditionally uh, awesome or kind of boring. <laughs> it is the number one reason I never play rangers. Is oh, it's so conditional. Twenty-seven or twenty-nine against undead, or if I find myself magically in the plains. <laughs> Okay, uh, Genzorig, there's, again, the island itself is rather loud at night. Um, there's a bunch of, like, life, despite the, the fight the island being full of death. There's a lot of life here as well. Organic life, vegetation, bugs, things moving, waves crashing. Cicadas and weird birds and maybe even little monkeys or something. Yeah. Like that sort of thing? Okay. Yes. Uh, in the direction of the northeast, north and east. Okay. There, there is a down the Ghoul Assassin Trail. Down the Ghoul Assassin Trail. In in this direction, I'm just going to draw a vector like this. You saw a blinking light, sort of thing. Oh, uh, is it any discernible pattern? Is it like on the other side of the mountain? Uh, it, the the blink was at least a mile away, uh, if not more. A so mile, so would be five thousand feet, so five squares away. It, yeah, it's at least five. It, so it's it's somewhere in that direction. Are we talking campfire? Blinking or like a light spell or do you have uh, give me a survival or a uh, knowledge of nature or knowledge of king? I will do survival. Uh, thirty one thirty. It would be plus two if it was undead and a plus four if we're talking about tracks. It was 
not fire. Okay. You think it was a spell effect. It, like it wasn't natural. Um, okay. And potentially almost like like a lightning bolt. But the weather and the sky are clear. Also, lightning bolts don't normally originate at the eye line. They usually originate. Yeah. Uh, Grimsby is the one that was on watch with me. Uh, it, don't, don't mind me, just sitting in my bucket. There's my barrel, nothing you can do. Did you see the light flash? It's like some sort of sideways lightning or something. Uh, I thought it would like a bug. It's like a fire bug or whatever. No, no, this was a flash over about, about a mile away along the peak. Somebody's fighting something, or someone's making a ruckus with light. wonder what hmm. it is. Well... <laughs> Do you want to go find out? No, in the dark, not by myself, you idiot. <laughs> I wasn't suggesting you should. It just, you know, seems like a terrible idea. <laughs> Why would you suggest such a thing? <laughs> You're trying to lure me away from camp? You want me to turn into a ghoul, don't you? You're we. <laughs> you would make a terrible ghoul. Oh, I know. I'd make a terrible ghoul. Exactly. It smells just fine. I don't want to stink. No, <laughs> yeah, no you, you, you're not really... I mean, uh, Black Dog, if we're talking about somebody who could make a ghoul, <laughs> that, that, that man could be a ghoul. <laughs> Bogomir also could be a ghoul, you know. <laughs> no, we got the one ghoul rule. This is true. Don't worry, I ain't gonna eat you. Just, you know, keep keep the toes away. They're, they look scrumptious. It's gross. Should we wake the others, let them know what's going on, or just keep watch? I don't think we're going crashing around on the top of the mountain in the middle of the night. Uh, well, the only one I'd probably wake up is uh, Sun Wu, but he gets really grumpy when you wake him up. Yeah, he's got to he's got to get his beauty sleep. Yeah, takes all that time pruning all the hair. The morning, wake up and kind of pick the fleas out and all that sort of thing. <laughs> <laughs> Capture and you're just gonna torture him by putting gum on his <laughs> <laughs> Oh no. No, it's horrible. Tart feather the monkey man. <laughs> the Geneva Convention. <laughs> <laughs> so uh Yeah, you should probably keep uh do you wanna look that way while I look the other way? Uh yeah, I'll, I'll, keep on, I'll keep on scanning that area. Yeah, we'll take out the spyglass, see if we can see anything. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, give me a uh, another percentile. 17. Okay. Uh, there's a another zap. Another flash. Um, another, like, you know, 15 minutes later. I, so, we fought the the Willow Wisp things twice, right? I don't know. Mm -hmm. that Willow Wisp. Is that what these are? It's not dissimilar. Oh, dissimilar. So it's similar. That would that would be. Yeah, I am using double negatives. <laughs> Is it bigger than that? Like it's a mile away. Like the little the zaps from the things were like. Little two D six kind of yeah, little, yeah. little zorks. Little, they they were annoying. They weren't actually threatening. Yeah. Uh, uh, you're suspecting there's something bigger going on. Oh. Okay. It happened again. I'm gonna go wake up Mogramir. Hey. Just get a nudge. Well, tell him. Tell him. Tell him he's a beautiful man. Grimsby wants to make you a ghoul. Right. That's not what I said. <laughs> but that's not what I came to talk to you about. There's light. There's sideways lightning from the top of the mountain going on. It's happened twice in the last last minute or so. It's like spells or something bigger than that of the 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 death wisps things that we fought. Nah, fucking hate those things. All right, show me, show me, show me. I'm getting up. about a mile away that way, and if the bolts are this big, 
And I don't know. Can 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 you extrapolate how big the bolts are? Uh, yeah. Um, what skill do you have that would be best for geometry or replacement for knowledge or cane? Because I don't think you got that. Or spellcraft. Like these oh, are the I got one, one rank of spellcraft. Spellcraft is the perfect one. Okay. 23. 23? The bolts are at least as potent as a magical lightning bolt. Like a wizard's lightning bolt. Like a, they, like, they're not necessarily as big as that, but they're at least as energetic. Well, maybe it's some sort of shortened lightning bolt. But they got they are packing a bit of power. I think there's some people fighting over there. Hmm. Aren't there some kind of like creatures that can breathe lightning? There is a few kinds of creatures that can breathe lightning. Let's hope we don't need any of them. Because it's happened twice. Either the wizards got two of these goddamn things, or there's something out there just puffing and puffing and lightning trees over. I think there's a story about that. Anyways. He's going to go back up and, like, watch. The huffer to puffer to screw your tree. <laughs> keep keep okay. looking. If it gets any closer, it'll wake me again. Yeah, but they're probably fighting something. Maybe something's hunting. Okay, give me another percentile roll. 86. The light show is apparently done for the evening. Okay. You would make a lovely ghoul, Master Mowermere. I mean, you just... I know. But I won't. Because <laughs> 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 we know us. <laughs> Speaking of ghouls, are we in the morning? It is It is morning. Uh, ghoul fever. Yeah, all right. The DC was 13. The DC is 13. The DC is not the problem. Has Ganzorig save? Not 20? <laughs> okay. Ganzorig has beaten Ghoul Fever. Yeah. Now, did I catch on the upload that if you've got natural armor, you don't have to worry about the bugs? The mosquitoes that aren't in combat form are, aren't getting okay. through your natural armor. Because at 5th level, Mulgamir got a plus 1 natural armor from his... Uh, curse. Okay, so you you are... The mosquitoes bite and bite as they may, but they don't actually penetrate. No. All right. Oh, chum chums. Okay. Oh, no, chum chums got natural easy. Um, Batano. <laughs> uh, no, it's not everyone. It's just the people that were infected before. Mark. Oh, just before? Okay. Uh, 22 for Kermit. Yay. Perfect. Um... Uh, you're now far away from the space. You're up in the you're up in the natural spring on the uh, the top of the mountain where there is a breeze and protections. This night you were protected from the mosquitoes. You're not out sleeping in the swamp or yeah, sleeping we're in a nice windy field. area. On this outcrop okay. here. Okay. Do we reprepare our abilities? If you, it, would you like to reprepare your abilities? I think so. I, I think I think so. Well, then, then you can reprepare your abilities. Uh, excellent. Daily preps are done. Um, were there any magic items that of that new pile that Sunwu had a hard time identifying? Uh, give me a second. Anything too high level for? I could, I could just roll. What, what, what's roll. his What's his bonus? Uh, with a, the identify uh, extract. Um, plus 23 plus aid from short stone. Uh, I think you can identify uh, identify a uh, mm hmm The DC is 15 plus the spell level, or yeah, the no, identify it's 15 plus the cash level. Okay, so 
you give me one roll just to see to see where you're at. There's a few things on there that might be a challenge. What, what's what's the aid from short stone? Uh, short stone. It's going to aid. Da -da -da. Short stone gives you a plus two aid or plus three aid. Sorry. Okay, thirty-eight. Oh yeah. Okay, you identify everything. You're fine. You're good. So I think things like the two alchemists fire go directly on our sheets uh, to replenish our, uh, some of our stores. Uh, is there any treasure that you want divvied, Mark, before we go adventuring today? Um, well, I think it would be a shame to leave the plus two hat behind. Yep. <laughs> plus two hat of resistance. I think it's Mulgramir's new captain's hat. Mulgamir will not say no to that. Do you have a resistance item currently? He doesn't have one. Okay. All right. So I'm taking that off the sheet if you could add it to yours. Awesome. Uh, I th think Sun Wu had time to move the... Uh, what was our rule for the runes? You have to be able to craft it to move it? Yep. So he needs to be six level to move the plus two off of the heavy flail? Yep. Okay. All right. So we can't... Move that. Does anyone want to wield a plus two heavy flail? Uh, heavy flail's uh, two handed. Two handed, right? Yep. Uh, Karen could wield that until we can move it around. Okay. I mean, <laughs> I'm erasing it. If you could add it to Karen's sheet, that'd be great. Cool. Um, and then the belt of strength plus two. Mulgrimir, where Mulgrimir should... will bow out of that when he got a pretty cool uh, hat out of it. So. Okay, the characters that could uh, benefit from this include Black Dog, Lihita, Jin, Karen. Bam. Katano stands there with his hands on his hips. I no. <laughs> That's back. Uh, Captain? Yes. Who gets the belt of strength? Oh. Uh, well, I think uh, my first mate will need tonight. Damn, heavy flails are good weapons. I didn't realize that they're so stacked. Don't hit yourself <laughs> in the head. <laughs> <laughs> I've only got so many brains to spare. <laughs> I've never had much to start with. I know what I am. <laughs> <laughs> are, they, are they considered hammers? Like, do do, do his? Uh... They might be, or no, flail might be its own. Uh... Uh, they, they're group. They're bludgeoning group flail. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Right, That's so I'm gonna have to cascade that plus two strength or his character sheet as we go. Plus two strength. Um. Oh, uh, Mogamir, mm -hmm. permission do you have this little itty bitty ring? It is a ring of sustenance. It'll help me be more industrious at night. Permission granted. Sun Wu looks absolutely thrilled with this. Like, he can't contain his giddiness. Oh, <laughs> Uh, how long does it take to bond with those? I think a week. Okay. Uh, duration of week. Okay, I'm marked down on our time tracker that he's going to uh, Sun Wu starts bonding with. Uh, you know what? That is the perfect prick move: is to just sleight of hand the wizard's ring of sustenance off, just to be a jackass. Because if he ever takes it off, it takes a week to work again. <laughs> So hungry. <laughs> oh, fuck. My Ozempic ring. <laughs> oh, funny. May cause bleeding for the eyes. <laughs> uh, those wands are good. I think we should give the Inflict wound, Light Wounds wand to um, <laughs> Grimsby. Yeah, I agree. Just in case the I get a momos. The potions, too, because... I'm going to put it just under additional gear. Adam, you can move around your... Uh, Quick slots? Your, yeah, your slots. 
Uh, yeah, the inflict potions as well probably just go to Grimsby. No one else can really use them unless you can trick someone into drinking it. Yeah. You're pretty tricksy. Get to, get to uh, I mean, <laughs> drink, drink my juice. Uh, that sounds slightly inappropriate. <laughs> Wand of Invisibility, 50 charges. This is awesome. And a Wand of Silence, 20 charges. Uh, can Black Dawn use those? Technically, the answer is yes. He can use Blood Rager spells because he's a Blood Rager. Even though he doesn't have spells yet, he can without need of UMD, use anything on the Blood Rager list. Now, I don't know if that's the spell. Invisibility might be on the Blood Rager list. He I'm so angry and quiet right uh, now. Too he, he, he doesn't... No, it's not on the Blood Rager list, but he's got his ninja trick, so I don't think... All right. Um, it's silence. Um, silence is a cleric spell, get actually. It. Don't know if shamans get it. I know uh, inquisitors do. Um, Genzora can keep that. In fact, we sh we should have fucking silenced um, the captain. Genzora does already have the spell, but uh, yeah, Genzora can use that one, so he'll take that. Sun Wu can as well. Uh, Any of the divine casters can take yeah. the silence. And any of the arcane casters could take the visibility. And bards could do both because they're awesome. Alright, invisibility. I used to hate bards. I don't know why. It's because you're just a. You were just such a masculine man trying to exude your testosterone. I, I, there was a period of time during high school we all just made fun of bards. I. They were like. The second I've actually read the rule book cover to cover, I'm like, bards are the best class. Why would you, everything needs a bard? Second edition, they weren't though. They weren't. They weren't second edition. No. They were not awesome. I, well, I wasn't. Third edition, but, they got. So here's the thing. It was hilarious because Marty was like, "Let's play just a little campaign," and I'm like, "I want to play a bard elf." And Marty was like, "What the fuck? What's the fuck? How?" <laughs> <laughs> we were drunk, and he's like, "How? Why would you want? Why do I have to tell a story for a bard? <laughs> like that was." The <laughs> Stupid! What are you gonna do? I'm gonna sing songs. <laughs> like, what kind of Tom Bombadil bullshit is this? <laughs> I've, I've softened up on bards. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sings to sings to stars was like, oh, oh. <laughs> Especially with uh, Stalt, just because it's it's such. Well, a... Gestalt makes it great, and then. Uh, oh, Part of it was demonstrating what like all the little buffs do. It's like no good hope plus bard song plus a heroism. Yeah. Oh, guess what? You you're amazing now. <laughs> plus haste plus <laughs> like, yeah. It's all all the good stuff is there. Yep. Cowl the Kenku was a chest slot item. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. I think that goes to uh, the only ninja in the party. Uh, yeah, I I, th I think that's good enough for giving. Uh, we can we can go through the fine plus tooth comb. Amulet plus one. Amulet natural armor plus one. Yeah. Um, Who wants to not be bitten by mosquitoes? Yeah, exactly. He was <laughs> benefiting from it most though. Yeah, who gets into fights? Um, Karen? I mean, does Banta have an amulet yet? He's going to go with a Mighty Fist, though. I mean, Mighty Fist. He's got a robe of Mighty Fist. He's got a robe of Mighty Fist? Yeah. All right. Aha. Uh -huh. Give it to Banta? I guess. Well, he's not fighting with us right now. That's right. <laughs> okay, <laughs> good point. We don't have to. Uh, maybe let's not give it to the guy who's rocking in the corner. Like, <laughs> Um, Karen is not a bad choice. Either. I like, yeah, let's go with Karen. He doesn't have the best uh, DC. DC. Yeah, so. 
All right, I've, I've copied that on your sheet if you could update his, uh, uh, his AC section. You can wear that in addition to the Holy Simple Accord. Okay, uh, yeah, the, the rest we can move around later. Yeah, there's a couple of plus ones on armor that Sun Wu can move around later. Uh, uh, should we give um, Lee the shurikens? Plus one shurikens? Sure, if we run into something that needs magic. Yeah, that's that's the only thing I'm thinking. You know. Yeah, he, he carries shurikens, he's just never used them. Because uh, he throws cannonballs. Because he throws cannonballs. <laughs> However, he is a weapon master, so catch this. At 4th level fighter, he can take advanced weapon training, focused weapon, thrown. Which means that everything that he that is considered a thrown weapon now follows the war priest damage uh, yeah. uh, in, um, uh, scaling. Yeah. So at mid-level, that coconut is going to do the same amount of damage as a spear, the same amount of damage <laughs> as a... <laughs> and Shikigami, then, will anything that's not, like, that he turns into a thrown weapon through, uh, uh, throw anything, yeah, it, it doesn't, it, it, it'll get bigger. Intended, it'll yeah. get, it'll get bigger. So, yeah, it's... Uh, there, there's, there's some, there's some heavy, deep searching to make the best throwing guy, um... Marty's got a soft spot for, like, man who throws things. <laughs> no man. No man. Throwing shit is, like, one of the first human sports. <laughs> yes. There's throw man in this game, throw man in the last game. But there, there are non-humans that have played that sport, i.e., I. like, Neanderthals and, you know, like, we throw a rock. That, I, I know this isn't the point in time. Chimpanzees and the similar are in the Stone Age. They're the culture of monkeys. They they have tools they make out of stone and they use them. We're watching if we're watching a sad evolution of the of species. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They're in the Stone Age. Come on, watch them. They're in the Stone Age. <laughs> it's gonna happen. <laughs> The damn dirty apes! The damn dirty apes are gonna take over! <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's fine, but Stone Age! Look at the fucking birds using tools! <laughs> They're like, oh, I want the ants, so get the stick and shove it down the hole and pull the ants out! They use tools! Anyways. <laughs> world, the world is awesome! If you <laughs> Don't be black pilled about shit. There's so much cool stuff in the world! <laughs> All right, All right. I, think, uh, I think we've got some things divvied, and then we're going to uh, move out, leaving some folks behind. Okay. Uh, all right. Mark? Yep. I need, you to, I need you to roll a d5. Yep. One. Okay. Uh, all right, you're going out. You've got some men to do some cutting, and you've got the two groups as you're heading down the trail. Again, Zurich pauses for a moment when we get to the ghoul lady trail. Okay. So the fight last night with the lightning was down that way. Who wants to check it out? We'll have a quick look. Okay. Um, who's not good at balancing, climbing? I am great at climbing and balancing. It'd be embarrassment to cord to fall off a mountain and die. Now falling off a mountain and live is praise to cord. <laughs> Tano, are you going to have a hard problem climbing shit? My little, my little Gitano, I'm not good at climbing. I have such weak bit. Oh. If you actually did your own work, and drops it. Oh, see what happened? <laughs> Fine, I'll stay behind with Katana. But you're the best at climbing. I know, but okay, no, it's okay. No one gonna see. He transforms into a little fox and hides in a bush. <laughs> <laughs> Size, it's tiny, isn't it? Tiny, yeah. Uh, 
Okay. You seem curl up and go to sleep. <laughs> All right. The 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 ghoul path isn't far from the fort, right? Uh, no. The ghoul the ghoul path is uh, like a thousand feet from the fort. It's oh, like it's it's, it's, we'll, it's where we'll it send, turns. We'll send these guys back to the uh, back to the entrance, and then we'll we'll start going down the path. Okay. If Katana wants to stay here, he can. If he wants to nestle up into somebody's backpack as a tiny fox, he could do that too. Mm. He wants to be fed to Krimlir, you know, just absorbing your power. How can I be absorbed? That's what you think. <laughs> Must be observed and applauded. <laughs> Okay. Uh, so is Gatano like he'll, hopping he'll, he'll in? He'll crawl in, in Lee's backpack. Okay. In, in Lee's weapon barrel? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Hey, we've done this before. Okay. Deja Nu. Oh, I think it's Deja Nu. Oh, it is. Deja Nu. <laughs> this is a new day. It's a day of new. <laughs> we did this before. So it's kind of right. new. Okay, uh, let's give our climb or balance checks for navigating the mountain. Um, people with climb speeds can just move at their climb speed with no issue. Um, the DC is uh, just running across the top is uh, eh. It is, there is risk, uh, there's risk in this. Um, okay. Uh, okay. Um, who is the first? Or, uh, um, Black Dog's got a plus 12, Sun Wu's got a natural so, climb, Gensler's yeah. got a plus 13, Lee's got a plus 12, Jin's got a plus 11. Okay, Karen's got a plus nine, um, and he's he can basically in combat. Karen ha is at risk, uh, and Ganzorg is amazing. Uh, <laughs> item, item. Yeah, I was like, oh, uh, all right. Uh, so, what's Mulgrimir's? It's eight. Eight. Okay, so non-combat. Moving slow, everybody's fine. It's quite clear to everybody that Karen and Mulgrimir are not as deft as everybody else. So if things get dicey, they have they're at a greater risk of an issue. Uh, and it appears Mulgrimir is by far the most at risk with his eight acrobatics. Okay, we're gonna use oh, acrobatics. That was climb. No, no, you, you, you're. It's it's kind of a. I'm just looking at both scores. Oh, okay. Um, both, look at both scores, comparing them to a DC. Uh, when you're not being threatened, you're you're both safe. Um, but it's it's obvious that you guys are not uh, you're not amazing at this, comparatively speaking. Um, okay, so the party does have to move at half speed. So, uh, but you're able because you're not actually um, you're you're like following the top of the peak. You're not actually like you know we like quarter or eighth speed. Uh, so it takes you about two hours navigating the top here um, at a at a cautious rate. Uh, you are approaching a strange clearing. Um, uh, give me a survival roll for some or uh, for Gensorg. or you know. Whoever else is interested in in following the tracks. Yeah, Lee will aid. Again, uh, sorry, with the aid. Oh, tracks um, twenty three. Twenty three. Okay. Um, yeah, the there's uh, particularly after you got a little bit of distance off of the main trail, the tracks became pretty obvious as the clawed hands left pretty significant gouges and the, the person was like that that woman 
uh, was basically crawling on all fours at a rapid rate across this path uh, on a re relatively regular basis. Um, as you reach this point, there is a basically uh, a weird mound of stone of a different color piled up on the top of the mountain. I'm going to basically unfog an area. I'm going to grab the tokens. There is a mound of stone. This region here is effectively flat and you, the, the, like a flattish area on the top of the mountain. If you go off, you go tumbling. Try not to do that. Or do do that. It's up to you. <laughs> oh. What's this stone thing? Okay, there's a strong smell of ozone in this region. Well, this might be the thing that's... Do um... you think the stone is the thing casting the, 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 the lightnings? Probably not. Okay. It smells oh. like lightning here. Ginzerg is going to detect magic. Okay. Uh... One second, let me look up the text magic. Give me a percentile roll. 62. Okay. Uh, and then I need to look up the other aspect. Okay, so you're not seeing magic directly, but do you see lingering? Uh, <laughs> it's artifact level magic wasn't used here last night. <laughs> so, uh, you, you're not detecting any uh, magic at, at this point in time. Okay, I don't detect any magic. If the rig looks up. So I guess it's safe. Do you want to go? Katie, don't blast me. Is this a big trap? Does it look like the lightning hits these rocks and that's why they look different? Uh, there's definitely... Uh, Sunwoo, give me a spellcraft check. Sunwoo, yep, taking a peek. Just... I think at this point he drinks his cognatogen and then his uh, the dumbest thing I've heard. 21? Uh, there's signs of magical damage to the stones. Um, it's strange in terms of you don't fully understand the like what would have caused it. The damage seems to penetrate the stone in a strange way. Like, it's not surface-level damage. It's, like, penetrating damage to the stone. It really got in there. Where where do the ghoul tracks go? The ghoul tracks go to this mound. Oh, is that some sort of... Like, can you go in there, maybe? It's not like a burial mound, is it? Like, It's a big pile of rocks on the top of this flattish place. <clears throat> <clears throat> the rocks are all like movable by a medium creature with a 14 strength. <clears throat> Jin, why don't you move some of those rocks from a distance with your with your pole on there? Okay, Jim will move forward. Let us see what crawls underneath these rocks as they are exposed to the sun. Okay, uh, give me one second. You, you notice, Mogramir, that Jin carries uh, like a large um, Naginata. He's asked several times for you to teach him how to use it. <laughs> well, when you blow him up, maybe. <laughs> it's all wrapped up, but he still keeps it. He's not shoveling with his Naginata, he is shoveling with his plus one long spear. Thanks to some of the runes that we found the day prior. 
Uh, okay. Um, you start to you flick some stones again, Zorig. Do you still have your detect magic running? Yep. Okay. You yeah. The ginger starts to flick a stone. Uh, you see magic. Like on the right. underside of the stone, or something coming out of the ground. The the stone is moving. You see magic. Are you that doing is. anything? Oh, there's there's magic there. Okay, Ginger keeps flicking the stone. Uh, there's a a moroseful moan. We'll stop flicking stones and take and we're going to roll initiative. <laughs> oh. <laughs> another fight with no <laughs> another another powers running. Uh. All right, what's moaning? Moaning. Uh, moaning. What is moaning? The, Myrtle. The modifier of the moaning. Uh, okay, so there's the moaning thing and the moaning things. Oh, where's it? I thought I lost it. Where'd it go? Uh, sorry. I'm having just a, a horrible day with respect to keeping track of my. Uh, I want to say plus six. Uh, Mulgrimir's tradition of going last continues. Uh, the moaning thing is a plus five. The moaning thing rolled a one and has a plus five. Okay. I think okay. it beat Mulgrimir. It did, yeah. <laughs> uh, it did. So the surprise round is a Type sound um, coming from the rocks. Coming from the rocks that are being disturbed. Uh, Ganzorig, Jinshir, and Lee. Um, it is. It is creepy. Uh, I need will saves. Against fear. Uh, yes. Ganzorig, 25. Okay. Ganzorig is not panicked by the frightened full moon. Panicked. That's harsh. Jin, 17. Uh, Jin doesn't want to be here anymore. Is it mind affecting? Uh. Yes, it is. All right, he gets a plus two. Okay, Jin, for a moment, didn't want to be here really bad, and now just doesn't want to be here, as opposed to just magically doesn't want to be here. Oh, oh no, Lee's will save his... Yeah. <laughs> I'm a monk, don't you know? <laughs> uh, I also drink a lot and throw things. <laughs> yep. He gets a 21. All right. Eight. Okay. All right. I can do this. <laughs> Okay, uh, there's a the the, the the disturbed rocks begin. Sounds okay. coming from something under the rocks. Yep, it sounds like it's in pain. Uh, Black dog. I think we're slamming our mutagen. Glug, glug, glug. <laughs> <laughs> Cribbler. Oh, no, we're not done yet. <laughs> no. Sorry. The climbing. Okay. So we will use a swift action to activate our uh, ninja. Oh, there's there's frightful moaning. He wants to be brave. His will save 
<laughs> is want a key word in that sentence? Yeah. Um, it's plus three, Mark. Oh. Yeah. I think it goes forward. Okay. Uh, the moan is a an instantaneous effect. All right. Um, Does he see anything here? Uh, give me a perception check. Where are you? Thirteen. Thirteen. Uh, you aren't able to. It, it's a pile of rocks, and they're yelling about magic, and there's noise happening, and Jinshu made a funny sound as he almost panicked. All right. Well, we're just now in a an area where we could strike. Okay. Uh, all right. Black dog. Grimlier. Grimlier is going to take flight. Okay. And she's flying around trying to see what the excitement is. That's too okay, give, give me a perception check from Crimlayer. Eleven. Get, get uh, no, it's there's... <laughs> Yeah. Corinne. Uh oh shit. <laughs> something's something's making creepy sounds. Corinne is gonna drink a mutagen. Uh and is going to move up. He's gonna move up slowly. Um Corinne's gonna drink a mutagen and then he's gonna move and with his mutagen he doesn't have to worry about is he moving at half speed? He doesn't have to actually worry about falling off the mountain. Uh, he's going to make his way. He can make his way up with without too much difficulty. Um, all right, Lee. Okay, uh, Lee. Still can't see anything, right? Yeah. So not like risky actions and movement in here is DC 15 climb checks. Unless you have a climb speed. So it's the, the role of getting failing by five or more is the part where you fall. Okay, I think Lee is also drinking his mutagen. And we'll ready in action to hot something. Um, Pat. Okay, we got ready to hide. <laughs> uh, Genzorig. Uh, you there is there is magic within the stone. <laughs> you are currently detecting magic. Okay, well yeah, we're we're gonna stop concentrating on that. Okay, or well, magic in the stones. Someone's coming. He saw everyone go ooga booga, or everyone like not. How many people can he get with remove fear? Because I think he can precast that. Yep, yeah. precasting it adds a morale bonus on saving throws. Oh. It only helps two people at his level. One creature plus one additional creature for four levels. Mm -hmm. There's still a huge buff on the original spell, which is like one person. <laughs> okay. He's going to cast it on himself because he can cast it again, and he'll cast it on Black Dog because Black Dog's will save isn't all that great. <laughs> he is prone to the fear. Uh, are you ready in action or anything else? No, standard action. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we're going to activate a judgment. Okay. Uh, as a swift, and then we're going to ready a rapid shot where something appears. Sun Wu. Someone has no fucking idea what this thing is. So Sun Wu is going to bravely cast rope trick. <laughs> <laughs> bravely.